This is 93.5 CHMR-FM. This is Simon Mark Jabroni, and you tune in to the heterosexual cavalcade of Uber Swank. Stay tuned for a solid hour of awesome Canadian music right here on 93.5 CHMR FM.
And, uh, yeah, that's really all you need to know about the CD. That's more, more of the same is coming your way over the next hour. Well, the next 30 to 45 minutes, I guess, with talking and such. That was Bolarama. The band is Earth Baby. The album is World Class from 1991. And let's see what it says here on the inside of the album. Thank you for adding Earth Baby's World Class to your record library. We hope that you will enjoy the music contained herein, and it will somehow inspire your spirit and happiness. We believe that we should all laugh at ourselves. The human condition has many facets, and they are always ripe for scrutiny. Our songs are based on emotions and observations from varied environments. Some sources were secondhand, experienced through uh, subjective formula, electronic media that we have endured. Yeah while others were, more importantly, drawn from real-life encounters. If we have achieved tickling your funny bone, imagination, erroneous zones, erroneous zones, or acted as a placebo for oat bran, then we thank you. We appreciate the joy that giving brings. Let's stay in touch. Best regards, Earth Baby. Yeah, so... This is Nietzsche's Cello. Yeah. On 93.5 CHMRFM, you're listening to the heterosexual cavalcade of Uber Swank. She just dropped by to say hello. Playing Nietzsche's Cello. Touch the strings and begin to sing. The sound was unforgettable.
Do you find that MS Word, PowerPoint, or Excel are slowing you down with your assignments? Did you know that the Commons provides one-on-one -on -one tutorials free of charge to students, faculty, staff who are attending or working at Memorial? To find out more, you can visit the Commons on the second floor of the QE2 library or visit us at our website, thecommons.mon.ca. Topic I hold in very high regard. Fishing. Fishing's an art, but it's also a science. So before you get into the art of the thing, you gotta understand the science. One, you gotta have the right equipment. Two, have an insightful approach to how today's fish think. Listen, you wanna read up on this stuff. people reel something in on their line and they say hey what the hell is this thing always carry a manual so you can identify the fish when you catch them you'll be anxious to know if it's a perch a pike a small or a large mouth bass You don't want to stand up to take a leak and then have the boat capsized, dumping all your fish and brown pops and maybe your buddies who can't swim overboard. It is therefore essential to adhere to proper safety procedures at all times. fish cleaning techniques. Number one, it's always best to have plenty of newspaper on hand. Number two, remember to scale from tail to head, something a lot of greenhorns don't know. Number three, above all, never develop an emotional attachment to the fish. It is not your pet, it is your dinner. Also remember, if you didn't catch anything, you can always stop by the fish store on the way home so your friends and family will perceive you as a real fisherman. I hope that you have enjoyed these tips and have learned something new about the exciting world of sport fishing. And hey, there is a fish out there with your name on it. That's a little bit odd. Fish out there with my name on it. I haven't fished in years. Some may say decades. And this is Admiral Mark Chaboni. You are listening to the heterosexual cavalcade of Uber Swank right here on 931 Fall. The CHMRFM. <laughs> 